Hey guys, my name is Justin and this is... I'm Josh. This is my brother Josh and we are both full-time eBay resellers. We make a living buying things for cheap and flipping them for profit on eBay. And today we are going to go to a couple of thrift stores to try to look for inventory for our eBay stores that we can flip for more profit. And we're going to take you guys along with us. Let's find some treasures. Here we go. So today I'm excited because we're gonna actually go to a couple of thrift stores that we normally don't go to on the other side of our county. Um, it's been probably a good, you know, half a year to a year since I've been to some of these stores. And, you know, being post COVID, I don't really know if they're open or not. So before we went, I went online and checked out to make sure they are open. There's actually a really cool trick if you're a reseller that you can use. I don't know if you know this or not, Josh, but um, you can go onto Google Maps on your phone or on a desktop computer you can type in thrift stores at the top and you can zoom in and out depending on your location and it'll tell you all the thrift stores that are on the internet on Google um, and it'll drop pin drops where they're out on the map so I used that last night and kind of plotted out of a course of action for today um, all the thrift stores that I wanted to, to go to with Josh and we're gonna try to, to go to a few of them and that's another really good tip that you can use if you're traveling like if you're on vacation or, or a location that you're normally not used to thrifting in you can use that tool to help you find thrift stores really anywhere you're at. Okay, so now we're at our first thrift store and we're gonna head on in. A lot of the ones we're going to today are little tiny holes in the wall, um, kind of little mom and pop shops, but we'll see what we can find. So we just popped into a little tiny hole in the wall thrift store that was independently owned by a lady and it, it was small. And um, I picked up this Seagate 500 gigabyte USB hard drive. And the reason why I bought it is because it looks like it's not opened. I have probably an unwarranted fear or phobia of, of picking up digital goods and hardware. Um, I'm always afraid there's gonna be inappropriate stuff on them that I'll sell to somebody and then it'll come back to me and, and I'll get in trouble with the law for something that I bought and picked up to try to flip. But this one looks unopened and I think I should have no problem reselling it. So I think we're doing pretty well so far. We're gonna go to a couple more thrift stores. How do you feel like you're doing today, Josh? I found a couple gold treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Um, you got anything in the bag you wanna show? Sure, that last one I we went to, I found this cool like vintage NASCAR shirt for a dollar. Pretty neat. Found a, uh, an ice maker water filter. Got that for three bucks. I think I can get like 30 out of that. Nice. Good job. Resmed tubes that are new in the package. 
you know, like CPAP tubing. Yes. So, not too bad. Cool. Good finds. Yeah. We'll keep going and hopefully we can find more stuff. We've got about an hour or so left in the day and we'll try to make the most of it. Let's do it. So I've got an entire tub of remote controls here and most of the times they are worthless. But if you look through them, sometimes you can find one. Like this one right here goes to a, an air conditioner and I think it'll do pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. So we were here last week and I picked up a Superman comic and decided to come back and grab this Spider-Man one. So we'll see. Okay, so I picked up the Spider-Man comic for $9 and I'm hoping that I can flip it on eBay for anywhere from 75 to 100. So I'm pretty happy with that find. I bought something at that last thrift store and we're gonna give it a shot. You ready? See what it is? I'm excited. What is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How much you dare me to, to wear this to the next uh, store we go to? You should do it. We'll give it a shot. All right, Josh, challenge accepted. <laughs> we are going in. The dirty stuff. I can keep it on. Oh, it isn't oh, no. gonna stick. No. Anything, Josh? Yeah. Ink cartridges. And a really nice back brace. Nice, good job. I'm happy. So I think that mustache worked because of that last one we did pretty good. We did. That was a good luck charm. Josh, you picked up a back brace that should sell for a hundred easy. At least I would think. And you only bought paid like what three dollars for it? Yeah, three bucks for it. Mm-hmm. And I picked sweet. up like three or four, uh, three actually, three bed like patient slings that you put somebody in a hospital bed in to help move them. Bought them for four bucks and they should sell for fifty a piece. Yeah, money. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Not too bad. You know, it was kind of unfortunate. There was a pair of Crocs in there that were uh, Megan's size. They were size nine, but I think they wanted like nine bucks. So you didn't buy them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's not worth nine bucks. <laughs> I know, I should have bought them. They Megan, were... if you're watching this, sorry, Josh, uh, it's too cheap. They were nice, too. They were fluffy inside. They were like kind of slippers. She would have really liked those. Yeah, then she probably would have. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm man. a horrible husband. I should have bought them. Hey guys, I'm back home now and I'm getting ready to list everything that I purchased today on eBay. And before I do, I wanted to take a moment to share some of my favorite things that I found today and also how I found those items. At the beginning of this video when I shared with you how to find thrift stores that you may not know about or you know, kind of the hidden thrift stores in your area, I promised that at the end of the video I'd give a couple more tips about how I find hidden thrift stores, kind of the secret thrift stores that are tucked away in my area. But before I do that, um, I wanna talk about how my day went. I think I did really good today at the thrift stores and I think my brother Josh would say the same exact thing about what he bought today. Now I found a handful of really high dollar items and I'm gonna show those to you here in a minute to talk about them in a little bit more depth. I won't share the cheap stuff that I found, you know, in the video because you probably already saw that. But the more expensive things I think that are really cool, I wanted to show you so you'll know to keep an eye out for these types of things when you're at thrift stores as well. So I found a couple of really great articles of clothing today and one item was this Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt. Now it's not an ordinary Hawaiian shirt, this is actually a Disney shirt and it's um, themed kind of after the Enchanted Tiki Room at Disney. If you look close at it, it's got a really cool tiki design with the parrots and the birds that are in the tiki room on it. And I picked this up at a Goodwill for only $4 and they're going for crazy amounts of money on eBay. For example, multiple shirts of this have sold for over $150 and I'm gonna put that on eBay for that price too because even if I do, I think this shirt will still be the cheapest one listed. So it should sell fast as well. Another really high dollar quality piece of clothing I found today was this leopard skin women's jacket. It's vintage, it's probably from you know the 40s or 50s, 
but it's in really, really great shape and really good condition. Now I paid $20 for this jacket and it's actually made out of real fur. I'm thinking that I'll list this on eBay for probably two to $500 and wait for a best offer to come in, but I don't see why I can't get at least 200 for this jacket. Now today I also found a lot of medical equipment. I don't know why, but everywhere I went there was really expensive medical equipment. And here are a couple of the things that I bought. The first item is this TENS unit. I paid $7 for it. It's a whole kit. You know, it has the power pack and all of the electrical diodes that go on for like muscle stimulation therapy. I don't see why I can't get 75 to 100 for this TENS unit. I also picked up for $15 this device called a Servitrack. It's a cervical traction collar that you put on your neck and it helps give therapy to somebody that might have a neck injury. I paid $15 for it and they're going right now on eBay for 100 to 125. I also picked up this pneumatic compression therapy device. It has sleeves that go on your legs and they inflate and it helps treat you know low blood circulation. I paid $15 for this one as well and they're going for 150 right now on eBay. I bought a back brace for $3. It's got you know the top part right here and, and this part goes around the bottom of your back and it'll go for 75 to 100 on eBay. And then finally, I also picked three hospital bed slings up. They're brand new in the package and I paid $5 a piece for each of them and they're going right now for $50 on eBay as well. So as you can see, I picked up a lot of really high dollar items today at the thrift stores. I picked up a total of 16 items today at the thrift stores and spent a total of $104.50. Now, of course, I haven't listed anything on eBay yet I'm getting ready to do that here in a second. But when everything does sell, I'm estimating that I'm gonna make about $1,200 in total profit. So you may be wondering, what is your secret to finding really great thrift stores that have really cheap stuff that sells for a high dollar amount? And my biggest thing that I can tell you is find thrift stores that are in expensive zip codes. Where I live here in Florida, you know, I live close to the beach and over by the beach, there's a lot of really expensive housing and really wealthy people over there. So I make it a point every now and again to drive a half an hour to an hour over to the coast and I go to all the thrift stores over there. And that's actually what I did today. Now, when you're in more expensive areas, you're gonna find more expensive stuff. And the secret to finding really good thrift stores that have those items is using the Google Maps trick that I taught earlier in this video. Now, another really cool thing about using Google Maps is if you're on your phone or even on your desktop computer, you can go in and search for thrift stores. But not only that, you can go and plot everything out on a map and really come up with a game plan of attack for when you're doing your thrifting day. The other really cool thing about using Google to find thrift stores is by using Google, you can look and see what days those thrift stores are open and you can check out their hours. So you can even plan your trips, obviously, to when they're gonna be open. And this is really beneficial when you're driving and going to areas that you're not familiar with, going to new thrift stores and really finding stores that maybe you've never gone to before. I know that when I discovered how to use Google Maps to find thrift stores, it opened up a whole new world and a whole new ball game of thrift stores that I had never been to before. And I've lived in my area my entire life. I grew up going to thrift stores and believe it or not, by using Google, I found a lot more that I had no clue even existed. So there you have it guys. I hope you found that tip beneficial and that it helps you in your thrifting trips in the future. If you have any questions about how to use Google Maps to find thrift stores, drop them down in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you as soon as I see your comment. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate all the love and support you've shown my channel. If you're not already a subscriber yet, please consider doing so and you'll be the first to be notified whenever I drop a new video like this one. Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, happy selling on eBay. Bye everyone.